Hi everyone, if you don't already know me, my name is Leah Medwig and I am your lead course instructor here um, at ACT for the CCMA program. And today we're going to talk about uh, diabetes medications. And when we begin to uh, talk about pharmacology and medications in general, it can get very complex and complicated very quickly. So um, we're going to discuss these diabetes medications in this lesson today in the context of your current role as a certified medical assistant. Now, if you do go on to nursing school or PA school or med school or pharma or pharm pharmacy school, um, you know, you will get a, a whole lot more in depth uh, coverage um, about pharmacology and medications and diabetes medications. But again, just in the context of your current role, um, we're just going to simplify it a little bit here today. So now, of course, by now, we already know that um, there is type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. And type 1 diabetes is um, a, generally an autoimmune disease that is acquired um, early in life, um, in um, early adolescence or early adulthood when your own body or your body's immune system begins to attack its own cells, or in this case, um, the pancreas, making it difficult for your body to produce insulin. Um, and approximately 5 to 10% of the people who have diabetes have type 1 diabetes. And sometimes these symptoms of type 1 diabetes develop very quickly. It's important to understand that if your patient has type 1 diabetes, they will be on lifelong insulin and um, they will use lifelong insulin to survive. Typically, um, patients that are type 1 diabetics do not use oral medications, only insulin. Now, with type 2 diabetes, um, this is when your body doesn't use the insulin well and can't keep the blood sugars at a normal level. And about 90 to 90% of people with diabetes have type 2 diabetes. Um, and this usually develops um, in later adulthood and is usually associated with um, poor lifestyle changes or poor lifestyle in general. Um, and of course, there is also gestational diabetes. Um, this develops in pregnant women who never had been diagnosed with diabetes prior to being pregnant. So diabetic medications um, that are used to treat type 1 diabetes, as I said, anyone who has type 1 diabetes will need lifelong insulin therapy and can only use um, insulin as treatment. Um, insulin is a naturally occurring hormone secreted by your pancreas. And if your patient is prescribed insulin, it may be because their body doesn't produce it, as in type 1, or their body doesn't use the insulin properly or well enough, as in with type 2 diabetes. Some types of insulin include short-acting or regular insulin, rapid-acting insulin, intermediate-acting insulin, sometimes called NPH, and then the long-acting insulin. Some insulin examples here include Humulin R and Novalin R for the short acting or regular insulin, insulin Lispro, which is Humalog, and insulin Aspart, which is Novalog for the rapid acting insulin. And then you have the insulin NPH, which is the Novalin N or Humulin N for the intermediate acting insulin. And then you have Lantus, Tujeo, Solastar, Levamir, Traceba, and Bezseglar for the long-acting insulins. Now, type 2 diabetes treatment, um, 
People with type 2 diabetes may use oral medication, they may use insulin, they may use a combination of the oral and oral medications and insulin. Um, several classes of type 2 diabetes medications do exist in each class of that medication works in a different way to lower the blood sugar. And here are some examples here that I've listed. Some work by stimulating the pancreas to produce and release more insulin. Uh, some may inhibit the production and release of glucose from the liver. Some of those medications improve the sensitivity of cells to insulin. Some of those medications can inhibit the reabsorption of glucose in the kidneys. And some of those medications um, can slow how quickly food moves through the stomach. Now here is um, some a nice graph of the type 2 diabetes oral medications. As you can see on the left-hand side, the first column is the drug class. The second column over is how the drug works. And the third column is the generic name. And then the last column is the brand name. Now the bigunites um, usually help to lower the amount of glucose produced by the liver. And you might know this uh, medication known as metformin or glucophage. The sulfur nereus help beta cells in the pancre pancreas release more insulin. And you might know this medication called glipizide or glimepiride or amaryl. The DPP4 inhibitors slow the activation of the GLP-1, which is a compound in the body that lowers blood glucose levels. And you may know this type of of class of drug uh, by the name of Trigenta or Genuvia or Genumit. Then there's the SGLT2 inhibitors, and this medication works by blocking glucose from being reabsorbed by the kidneys. And then the excess glucose is then released uh, in the urine. And you may know this medication by the name of Invocana, Barsiga, and Jardians. Now, I know we're probably seeing a ton of um, commercials on TV with all of these medications. Um, <clears throat> you're probably hearing them from these commercials. So now the meclinonides help to help beta cells in the pancreas release more insulin. And you may know this medication uh, by the name of Prandin. And the TZDs help insulin work better in the muscle and the fat cells. So those medications we just discussed were all oral medications or by pill form. And these next type two diabetes medications are injectables. And again, here we have in the left side column, the drug class, how the drug works, the generic name, and then the brand name. Uh, the drug class amylin slows food moving through the stomach. Now this medication may also can also be prescribed for type 1 diabetics as it as it is an injectable, but um, I don't typically see this being prescribed to too many type 1 diabetics, mostly just type 2. And you can see the generic name and brand name is the Simlin. The GLP-1 receptor agonist helps release insulin when blood glucose rises at mealtime and it helps to slow the absorption of mealtime glucose. And again, you might have heard of this medication by the brand name of Trulicity or Victoza or Ozempic. And then the next drug class is a combination of medications, uh, insulin plus the GLP-1 receptor agonist. Um, and this is otherwise known uh, as Saliqua. So again, um, like I said, when we start getting into all of these different types of medications for things, especially like di diabetes, it can become complex and sometimes complicated. But um, as your role as a medical assistant, um, you know, the most important thing to remember is that type 1 
uh, diabetics are only treated with insulin, and then the type 2 diabetics can be treated with insulin and, um, and or a combination of oral medications. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns about anything. I'm always here to help you.